Hello everyone and welcome to today's Netscope Advanced Analytics Dashboard Walkthrough on the App Instance Overview Dashboard. This dashboard best answers the question, is there data moving outside my organization? Essentially, the App Instance Overview Dashboard provides a glimpse into the trend of movement of data to and from corporate and non-corporate instances. Use this dashboard to identify if data is moving outside of your organization, where the data is moving, what controls already exist, and decide if additional controls should be put in place. Before we jump into this walkthrough, I'm quickly going to go over some important points from the description. Feel free to pause the tutorial here to read the entire description, or you can access it within your own Netscope library. Firstly, to look at all applications and all instances, simply view the dashboard as is. To view the dashboard for a specific application, for example, OneDrive, use the dashboard level filter above to select the application of interest and reference the data. Secondly, this dashboard is tuned for a demo environment. Every customer names their corporate instances differently. For that reason, this dashboard will need to be adjusted to your company's needs. Please see the App Instances Overview Customizations video for a tutorial that will walk you through how to do this. Now, let's continue with the rest of this dashboard. This first view, these top three widgets, are a good high-level view of what's happening with data movement within your environment. The first widget, over here on the left, will tell you how many instances you have in your environment based on the time period for which you are viewing App Instances. The drop-down description for this widget reads as follows. This number represents a unique number of application and instance name combinations. Applications with no instance awareness are counted as one. The middle widget shows the number of corporate versus non-corporate instances you have in your environment. In a typical environment, if you have this dashboard tuned properly, you will see a minority number of corporate instances and majority non-corporate. The reason this occurs is because when you're using products like CASB Inline or NextGen Swig, your users may be using many different applications, unless you have a highly regulated environment. Thus, you will see that the majority of app instances will be labeled as non-corporate. The third widget that we see in this view, Corporate versus Non-Corporate Instance Data Movement, displays the allowed data movement going from corporate instances versus non-corporate instances. This third widget is very important, as it provides a view of the amount of data moving to non-corporate instances in your environment. The minority chunk here, this non-corporate sliver, is the important part to understand for your tenant, as you can use it to determine if the non-corporate instances occurring are okay for your environment. Before we move on, let's just quickly click on the drop-down tab of this widget and scroll down. Please note, only allowed movement has been captured for this view. Any event associated with the following policies has been excluded. Block, block access, quarantine, add headers, restrict access, and IRM protect. Moving on to this next section, the line graph titled Corporate versus Non-Corporate Instance Trend displayed a number of instances. This view is useful if the organization is looking to reduce the number of non-corporate instances in their environment. This trend can be used to understand if non-corporate instances are trending downward over time. Continuing downward, over here on the left, we have users accessing corporate versus non-corporate instances. If there's a large number of user access non-corporate resources, drill in to understand why. It might be necessary to refine your definition of non-corporate instance. Alternatively, user awareness training may be required. This next view, over here on the right, also plays an important role because the non-corporate instance data movement trend widget shows the trend of non-corporate data moving over a set period of time. This trend line will indicate that there may be a flow of sensitive information being moved to non-corporate instances and if there's a major change in the rate of movement. You can use this view to see the trend of data movement and any outliers associated with that trend. For example, here you can see that there is an increase in data movement to a non-corporate instance that might be worth investigating. Please note, this is easy to do. You can start by drilling into the outlier. In this next view, the SAN key titled, App Instance Type, Policies Triggered, and Actions Taken, 
We can see the policies triggered by the corporate or non-corporate instances that occurred. Those are displayed in the middle column. The view on the right side of the sand key shows what actions were taken when that policy was triggered. In the case of null values, both for policies triggered and for the actions taken, those represent instances when no policy was triggered and no subsequent actions were taken because there was no policy triggered. Continuing downward to our first table, we see the specific applications, user, and size of corporate app instance that have occurred within the time period set for the dashboard. Below that table is the exact same view but for non-corporate app instances. The reason these two views are important is it shows exactly what is considered a corporate instance and what is considered non-corporate. Additionally, you get some usage information with these tables, number of users, and the amount of data movement with this. If within the non-corporate instance table you find a corporate instance, that is an indicator that you need to fine-tune the dashboard which can then appropriately categorize the data. For more information on adjusting the dashboard, see the customizations video. This has been the Netscope Advanced Analytics Dashboard Walkthrough Tutorial on the App Instance Overview Dashboard. Thank you for watching.